morning, friends. Up and at them. The inn is nearly filled to capacity, and there's work to do. Rise and shine, my fellow world changers. There's just something about today. I can feel it in my bones. It's a beautiful day, and we get to shine. It's not that I don't agree with you. It's just my body hasn't quite caught up with your enthusiasm. Oh, you beastly madness. Get that body into gear. There's not a minute to waste. I don't think my eyes are awake yet. Well, my eyes are, and you look marvelous. We'd better get back to the stable. My animal friends will be hungry right about now. I'm pretty hungry, too. Well, thanks to your early rising, friend. Start right up early, cook breakfast, and set the table. Let's grab some to go, Gertie. The animals sound like they're about to revolt. And you know, they really need a stable diet. Ha! But wait. Ha! But wait. Before we go on about our chores, I just want to take a minute and celebrate. What's to celebrate? That we're orphans? And it's just another day in Bethlehem. Who's this ray of sunshine? Everyone, this is our newest guest. We found her wandering outside the inn last night and invited her in. That's how we all got here. Trixie had room in her inn, and now we're one big happy family. Gonna stay with us for a while? Only because I assumed it would be less <laughs> noisy than the streets. Well, my slightly new grumpy friend, I'm glad you could be here today with us because is she always this perky? Yes, sometimes even more so. Today <laughs> is my one year anniversary at being here in the Inn of Bethlehem with you fine people. Has it already been a year already, Star? Yep, I just want to take a minute to appreciate everything and everyone that has made this past year so special. Boop. Did she just boop your nose? Mm -hmm. Yes, she does that. You'll get used to it. Not sure about that. And what's so special about being here in Bethlehem? So many things. Each day may not be good, but there's good in every day. Our God does the impossible. He will make a way. Turn your face toward the sun and the shadows.
I'm off to the stables. Me too. Time to balance the books. After saving up these past few years, I got to find, <coughs> I finally got to upgrade my new abacus. It's an eight plus. What a tech. What a technological wonder. Who knew it was possible to invent something so advanced? OK, my sparkly friends, I'm raring to go. I'll come to the check-in desk. I'll go feed my doll. Where are you going to volunteer, Blakely? Uh, I'm going to feed my doll, too. You have a doll? I can introduce her to my doll. This is Esmeralda, and they can be friends. Sorry, kid. I was just joking. You know, Blakely, serving at the end is how we orphans can really make a difference. Magnus is right. I'm, I'm thankful for a safe place to stay and people that love me. Hey, why don't you go to the stables? Gertie will show you her animals and she'll tell you all about them. Whatever. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. Are you hungry? Huh? Here you go, some nice, nutritious food. And I forgot about you, chickens. Don't I feel sheepish? <laughs> there now, eat up. You know, I know it's gonna be a busy day here in Bethlehem. I'm sure you'll make some new friends today when more people arrive at the end for their census with their animals. They sent me out here to help. I followed the smell. <laughs> Everyone, I'd like you to meet our new friend, Blakely. Blakely, meet our very oh-so-talented animal friends. Talented? They do tricks or something? Better than that, they sing. Well, sing might be a bit of a stretch. Nope, they definitely sing. It's a moving experience. I called them from farm to the stable. Okay. Do you hear it? Yes. Beautiful friends, let's show them what you got.
They sent me to help at the check-in desk. I just couldn't listen to one more minute of animals singing. Ooh, did Gertie show you her animal choir? She loves them. But if I'm being honest, it just sounds like animals. But I respect her dedication. Looks like we only have two rooms left. The numbers are up 20 from 33% from last year. This census sure has helped our business in the day's been flying by. It's, oh, and here comes our, it seems like everyone's here to celebrate my one year anniversary. Oh, and here comes our next customer. I'll show you the ropes later. Welcome to the Inn of Bethlehem. We are so happy you could stay with us today. Third door on your left. Only one room left. This place is really hopping. It seems like everyone's here to celebrate my one year anniversary. Oh, and here comes one more. Welcome, friends. This is your lucky day. Tell them why, Blake, Blake. Uh, because it's our last room. <laughs> Isn't that right, Blake, Blake? Uh, yeah, last room? mean to micromanage, likely, but you could use a little more when you talk to the customers. Try adding a little more drama to make every sentence an announcement. Oh, and here comes your chance, except wait, we have no room, so welcome to the end. We have no room. No room, please. We have been traveling all day, and as you can see, my wife certainly can't travel any farther. I can see that. Let me get her a chair. I am the house in line of David. I came from Nazareth to register for the census. We need a place to stay. Mary's about to have a very special baby. Babies are always special. I knew they was going to be extraordinary. I just knew it. You haven't heard half of it. You ready to hear the story? I'm ready. Lay it on me. I can go for a story. The animals are settling in for the evening. Gather around, everyone. Yeah. Story time. Is my eldest ready? What well, I'm about to tell you will be hard to believe, but I'm sure that's the truth. Truth, truth. An angel came to me in a dream, and she said, Wait, an angel? Yeah, an angel. Okay, sorry. Go on. I just wasn't expecting it to go that way. Tell me about it. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid, because the Holy Spirit's given her a son. Said, Mary's my wife. Yelza, I can't believe you saw an angel. Believe it, Mary saw an angel too. You did? What did the angel say?
I'm Trixie, and I run the Annabeth Clam. Stars told me of your predicament, and I'm really very sorry. If we could help, we would, but there really are no rooms left. I just don't know what to do. Every other end is booked up. Miss Trixie, I have an idea. If you want, you can come stay with my amazing animals in the stable. John Luke and I keep it pretty clean in there, and I can make sure my animals are really well behaved. Plus, my animal choir could sing to you. Huh? That's very generous. Thank you. Follow me. Can you believe it? I knew today was going to be a day to remember. I just knew it. I have a certain way of knowing these things. Don't you always think the day's gonna be incredible? Well, yes. But it always is! Okay. <laughs> well, Listen. I got them settled in the stable, but I don't think that baby's gonna wait much longer. So exciting. What a blessed day. Listen, Perky, you gotta dial it down. Mm. I've been on my own for a while, and I can tell you, things are not as awesome as you think. What do you mean? This is an ordinary end. It's not a special day. Those animals don't sing. And even though you think you have a family here, you're still an orphan. Agree to disagree. Just saying. As soon as I can earn some more money here, I'll be getting straight out of Bethlehem. Not sure where I'm going. I've been around. There's nothing here for me. around you and tell you how much they care about you. Come on, everyone. Circle around! <laughs> That's okay. I'm fine. I always am. And what about those two people talking about seeing angels? I mean, seriously? Angels? Surely you can't believe about them. Of course. 
course I believe him. Let's think logically, Blakely. How both Mary and Joseph saw angels in, at different times, different places. What are the chances that total, two totally different people could see angels? We've just seen an angel. Hundreds of angels, it was terrifying. They told us a savior was to be born tonight. See, someone else saw angels tonight? We sure did. They were everywhere. Let me give you the skinny. Ooh, I feel another story coming on. Man, they were just appearing left and right, and it really psyched us out. And we were like, whoa. And the angel was like, can you dig it? We were to laugh in the field, to our cheek, just like we always do. When we saw a funky, groovy sight, and we were bugging out, because the glow of cool cat was booking on us. And I was like, dynamite. Glory to God. Right on. I can't believe it. This baby is the Christ, the Messiah. I need to give him something. But I don't have anything. No one expects you to give anything. We're orphans, Star. Here, I want the baby to have my dolly. This is Esmeralda. Consider it a gift for the king. I like the I like to offer my my abacus. These are very generous gifts. Thank you. How can we not offer everything we have to the Messiah, the Savior of the world?
believe that God sent this baby. God has forgotten about us. He doesn't have time for people like us. We all feel lonely sometimes. And we all have times we feel sad. But we have felt the love of God through our family here at the end and now through this miracle. The Bible says that God has heard the cries of his people and he will send the Messiah. We just witnessed the birth. God has just shown us that he hasn't forgotten about us. We may be orphans, but we're a part of family, God, the family of God. And when you think about it, we're all really orphans crafted into one family of God. He has, he has adopted us into his royal family. We are his forever. just how much he loves us. Love has come as a baby. God sent a savior straight out of Bethlehem. Out of Bethlehem a king was born. Out of Bethlehem a Christmas morn. Jesus is king. Let all creation sing. We know that God is
one thing I've appreciated in all these years now, and I, I give Lisa and all the ladies credit, is that they just to do um, And tonight was that way. It really was. I mean, I was kidding. There's a lot of talent coming on, isn't there? <laughs> a lot of times it's all about the stage and all that. Tremendous. I'm telling you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let me, let me tell you a little story. Um, today has been a different... My mic's cutting out, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Maybe it'll be all right. It'll be all right. If it keeps doing it, we'll grab it, Amanda. But um, Lisa and, and uh, Lori came to see me this morning. Uh, they said something unique has been happening. That uh, They've been talking a lot about this program. And uh, talking a lot about... Uh, relationship with the Lord and praying and those types of things. Let me have it. It's not doing. It's been on my mind this afternoon and and because uh, they wanted me to do something that we've never done in a children's program before. Um, there's actually kids, and, and I'm not going to identify anybody, there's actually kids in the program that are praying for you. That they wanted you, they wanted you to know him and I was just taken back I mean I was I said I sat back there and just you know just share that with you uh, not gonna they really didn't tell me any names they said but they've had a lot of conversation that it's not just a show as I said at the beginning tonight that you know God can present himself in many ways uh, I don't know when I was 10 or 11 and children's ministry was uh, a part that I got to disco and rap that's another, we've come a long way, baby. But, but what a message that these guys, isn't that amazing? These guys at their age are concerned about you. And you could see it on their face. You could see it that they know what they're singing about. Isn't that great? That God at a young age can reveal himself to folks and make it real. Uh, I'm not going to preach to you, but I don't want you to miss it. Don't, don't get wrapped up in a kid's program if you don't know the reason. Uh, I'm not here. To, I'm not one of those. I, I'm not a turn or burn, heat or bleed kind of pastor that every time he gets the microphone, he's going to, somebody will make a decision. But I will tell you what, don't get caught up in being that close and yet being so far away. At least the exciting part for me is I could celebrate that because God is real in my life. And uh, how, how it's presented God help me when I present the gospel with a sour look on my face. I'll be reminded tonight, uh, the, just the enjoyment of it. But don't miss it. Uh, I would tell it to you this way. This one on my heart. Um, if you're not sure, we can, we can make sure you're sure. Uh, we can lead you that way. And, and just be aware of that. Be aware that uh, don't take for granted because you sit in the church that makes you right. No, it's a personal relationship. And uh, that was conveyed tonight. Uh, what a what a wonderful! I say again, what amazing talent! And uh, across the board, when they started standing up and singing one at a time, I, it just blessed my heart. It truly did. And uh, lines and verses, it just blesses me. So don't miss that. Don't miss tonight what God can be and what He wants to be in your life. All right? Can we have that agreement, everybody here? Don't miss Him. Don't miss Him. He is the reason for the season. He'll make all the difference. I've said it this way for years. When it's all said and done. All that's going to matter for me and for you is what was said and done with Jesus Christ. When it's all said and done. So don't miss that. All right? Guys, from Brother Jay, what a tremendous job. Tremendous. I, I celebrate with you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Can I just pray with us? Let me tell you what we're going to do. You're going to get to see from the pre-kids praise, preschoolers here in a minute. And uh, the younger bunch, they're going to show you a video. And then we got a couple other things to do. And we'll celebrate these guys. And then we're going, we're going in the fellowship hall, all right, and do what church folks do really well, okay? And, uh, but I want to pray with us, pray for us. Just if that's where you are, I'm not going to ask for a show of hands and that kind of thing. But if something's on your heart, you can resolve it with the Lord tonight. Uh, you can. Uh, that's what it's about. We gather together in his name. He'll be here in the midst. So would you just bow your head and let me pray over us? And then I'm going to pass it along, okay? We thank you, Lord. I've been in a great place tonight, and I thank you for that. I thank you, Lord, from the stable, your creation. Lord, even the animals recognize who you are as creator God. 
I thank you and I praise you, Lord, tonight that we are not orphans. We are the children of God. And you know all of us by name. I thank you that I'm no longer a foreigner or stranger, but today I'm a fellow citizen with the saints of God. Not because of what I did, but because of what you did for me. I thank you for the presentation tonight. I thank you for all the effort. Lord, amazing to see this. And most of all, I thank you for the spirit of these young ones, Lord. Just their heart and the presentation tonight. And God, what they presented. I pray, Lord, we would never forget the message that we've heard tonight in a unique way that has been presented. And God, I pray for all of us here that we would know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we're where we need to be with you. That's what matters most of all. I thank you and I praise you for what you have done. Now continue this night, Lord, the food, all that goes on the rest of this few minutes together. Lord, bless it and we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. All right, kids, we're going to go with the teachers out and let y'all get back into your... Wow. <laughs> there was moments um, that I, I was brought to tears and I was trying to, to keep, you know, on the script and everything. It was just amazing. They have, they worked so hard and um, they've been praying for y'all, just like Brother Jay said. And I, I'm just, I'm blessed tonight. And I'm so glad that you are here tonight, that you could be blessed too.